So the Climate Fresk workshop is a three-hour serious game to uh, understand the global picture, the, the, the systemic uh, problem of uh, climate change. And uh, it's a collaborative and playful way to learn all together. Um, so it's three hours long. Hello One Podcast Made to Take for Two. สวัสดีค่ะชื่ออิดนะคะอิทธิดาสาราวิธีค่ะเป็น UX UI Designer นะคะจาก Palo IT ปัจจุบันโลกของเราเนี่ยเผชิญปัญหาภาวะโลกร้อนเนื่องจากพฤติกรรมมนุษย์ใช่ไหมคะทำให้หลายๆบริษัทเนี่ยเริ่มหันมาให้ความสำคัญกับปัญหานี้มากขึ้นเนาะคุณผู้ชมเคยได้ยินคำว่า Climate f r e s h Workshop ไหมคะถ้ายังไม่ได้เคยได้ยินเนี่ยวันนี้เราจะมาคุยกันมาทำความรู้จักกับมันมากขึ้นว่า Climate f r e s h คืออะไรแล้วก็กิจกรรมนี้ทำเพื่ออะไรแล้วก็มีประโยชน์ยังไงกับคุณ s e v e r i n Sustainability and Impact Lead Hello s e v e r i n Hello it So uh, first of all can you tell us a little bit about your background and how did you get involved in the Climate Fresh Workshop Sure So I always have a drive for the for sustainability matters uh, even if it was not in the center of my previous uh, jobs Uh, for um, uh, Paris airport and Airbus helicopters, uh, I always try to use the lens of sustainability for uh, for each topic I had to uh, to deal with. And in 2020, so I uh, already uh, arrived in Thailand. Uh, I attended the workshop, uh, a climate fresh workshop with friends. And it was really like an accelerator uh, for to, to, to switch my career to a full-time uh, mission dedicated to uh, to sustainability. Uh, and uh, I first decided to become a facilitator. So, uh, what is Climate Fresk Workshop, and what are the goals of this workshop? So, the Climate Fresk Workshop is a three-hour serious game. Uh, you play with uh, 42 cards to uh, understand the global picture, the, the, the systemic uh, problem of uh, climate change. So it's based uh, on uh, IPCC results, so it's scientific based, based and uh, it's a collaborative and playful way to learn all together. Um, so it's three hours long to uh, dive uh, deeper in the in the topic and uh, it's really a good way to understand the, the issues uh, and also to uh, help people to jump uh, into action. What activities are covered in this workshop and why uh, are these activities important? So the first part of the workshop is uh, really to create Uh, the, the, the fresk on the table all together based on the collective intelligence. Uh, it is really about uh, understanding the relationships, finding the causes and the consequences. Uh, the second part is uh, more creative, so to, to help people uh, to really um, exchange around uh, the, the, the fresk they just built together, uh, be sure that they understand everything, uh, ask questions, but also illustrate it, find the title, so make sure that uh, they appropriate the, the work they just um, um, did together. Uh, and we have also, uh, sometimes it's not mandatory, but uh, like a, a knowledge recapitulative to be sure that we ensure some, uh, some concept. Uh, and very important, we spend time to share emotions, feelings of the participants, uh, to, because it, it could be um, a lot to when you uh, realize that the situation is not really uh, uh, what you just see when you go uh, outside. Uh, and the last part is jumping into action. So how we can make people bounce to something more positive uh, and, uh, and uh, showing them that we can have all have something to do. Yeah. So how do you involve the participants in the workshop to, uh, to let them actively learn and retain the information? 
It's really important to let the time for each of them to find their place, so it's the role of the facilitator, huh, clearly, um, to let the magic of the group uh, working, uh, because they have to find the answer by themselves, they have enough information and they will be proud to, uh, to, um, to do it by themselves. Uh, and sometimes it takes time for some participants to really onboard uh, the game, but we have very few people not interested in the, in the workshop at the end, because it's really, uh, as I mentioned, uh, playful and creative. Uh, and three-hour workshop, uh, it allow, allows to have, it allows participants to have enough time to reflect and digest, digest the knowledge. Yeah. So after they go through all these activities, uh, how can they continue to take an actions and have a positive impact on the environment? Clearly, uh, the workshop is really the first step to raise awareness to people. And it's an open door to a myriad of other uh, options later to, uh, to continue their journey, their personal journey. So, you can imagine to deploy uh, the climate fresque uh, within your uh, company, school or organization. Uh, you can decide to become a facilitator also to spread the world, which is really powerful and interesting. Uh, you can also um, deepen your knowledge uh, by attending uh, some uh, workshops or trainings on other topic, topics like the carbon footprint, uh, just after the, the, the climate uh, the climate fresh workshop uh, and we share a lot at the mm. at the end of the, the workshop some resources games movies courses that participants can uh, can uh, can uh, watch or attend if they are interested to know more so what advice would you uh, like to give to the companies that are looking forward to reduce their carbon footprints and become more environmentally sustainable Clearly, first, you can only reduce what you can measure. Mm. So it's really important to know where you are and to assess your current situation before taking actions. Uh, at Palo IT, we developed uh, an impact tracker tool. So it's a new tool uh, to enable uh, the consolidation of all the data of a company um, and, and to help them to build a better uh, action plan uh, related to their uh, carbon accounting uh, processes uh, and, um, and uh, IT. S uh, so it's really to have a first step in those topics and to measure first. Uh, we also uh, develop some trainings that help our customers to uh, raise the awareness of their uh, employees, uh, so globally, uh, around climate change or carbon footprint, and also more specifically on impact design uh, or sustainable IT. Yeah. So, uh, last question, what about the individuals? How can individuals and business work together uh, to solve these problems and create a, a more sustainable future? Uh, thank you for this question. It's very important for me. I will share three uh, words. So the first one is education, um, because raising awareness and understanding the challenges is really important to to find uh, the right action that you can do uh, regarding your situation, your age, uh, the company you, you belong to, etc. The second word is collaboration. So we are not superheroes. Uh, we need the others, and the power of the collaboration will be key. Uh, it's also the, the 17th uh, SDG of the, Uni of the United Nations. It's partnership. Partnership collaboration will be really, really important. Doing something in our own. Uh, um, it's not something that we will make a real impact. And the last word is optimism. Uh, why? Because, okay, we know that uh, we create a lot of problems, but what is great is also that we have all the solutions in end. Uh, so just make it and 
stay optimistic because I really think that we can also find a meaning and a purpose uh, on, in our uh, job uh, through uh, this, uh, if we really, all of us, embed impact uh, in our daily life. Uh, well, that's all the time we have for today. Thank you so much, Sabrina, for taking your time to speak with us today. Thank you, Ian. Thank you. So, for anyone who is interested in this topic, from our Palo podcast, you can follow us on social media. We also have a lot of good things about this topic, like this topic, and you can follow us on our website. We'll see you in the next episode. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone.